Playing Minecraft in VR is now easier than ever. In fact, I can teach you how to do it in like four minutes. The first thing you have to do is download the launcher. You can download that from right here, but I'm going to drop all the links that you need in the description of this video. Once you've downloaded and installed it, open up the launcher. Once you have it open, make sure that you have the Minecraft Java Edition pane selected, and then just run the game. By the way, if you've already installed and played the latest version, you don't have to do this step. Next, you're going to download three things. Download the mod loader, Fabric. Again, all of these links will be below. Download Fabric API, which can be found at the same link. Just follow the link right next to where it says Fabric API, and then just press download. There are going to be a lot of options here, but just make sure that you select the version that matches the latest version of Minecraft, which of course you can see by checking your Minecraft launcher. Then just press download. Finally, you're going to download Vivecraft, which is the mod that turns it all into VR. Select the latest one under the Fabric platform, and the game version should be something like 1. something. something. It should match the one that we saw earlier on the launcher. Once you have these three things downloaded, open up that Fabric installer, and once it's ready to install, it should ask you for a Minecraft version. Once again, just make sure it matches both the version on your launcher, the latest version, and the Vivecraft download. As you can see, my Minecraft version is 1.21.5, and the latest Vivecraft version is that as well. Tick Create Profile and press Install. Once that's successfully installed, it should, well, tell you. Okay, now the next step requires some complex computer hacking. Just kidding. But you do have to find the mods folder, and if it's not there, you have to create one. It's actually super simple. In the computer search bar, type in percentage app data percentage, and then press enter. I know it looks scary, but I promise it's not gonna hurt you. Next, in that folder that you just opened up, look for the .minecraft folder, which should be right at the top. Select that, and you should see a mods folder in it. If not, you can literally just create one called mods. If it is there, then lucky you, just open it up. Now with that open up, we're gonna grab the Fabric API and the Vivecraft files that we downloaded earlier and then just drag them into that folder. Finally, you're gonna break out your headset. I'm using the Vive Focus Vision, which by the way, I highly recommend you pick up if you're new to VR or looking for an upgrade. Connect your headset to your PC and of course, if you're like me and you're using a Vive headset, you're gonna also wanna open up Vive Hub. Then of course, launch Steam VR. Once you have your headset connected to your PC and Steam VR up and running, go ahead and open up that Minecraft launcher again. This time, when you look at the bottom left corner of the launcher, it should say Fabric Installer, and a warning that we're just gonna conveniently ignore. Once the main menu opens up, there should be a toggle to the right that says VR Off. And now I think you and I both know what needs to be done. Toggle that to on, and you're in VR. Of course, once I, I put the headset on. From there, you should be able to launch the game, and what you'll find is that the entire experience is just super dialed in. Everything just feels right. The right trigger is the action button, or you could just literally use the motion controls. You can use the left and right grip buttons to cycle through the resources that you have, or you can literally just slide your hand across it like this. It's also conveniently the place on your left arm right next to your health meter and food meter. All right, now that we have Minecraft up and running in VR, I get to show you my favorite part. Press the X button on your left controller to open up the inventory screen, and then just move your arms and head around. What you'll notice is that your little character actually moves their head and arm around as you do. Okay, it's not that big of a deal, but I just find it to be a cute little touch. There you have it. Enjoy immersing yourself in the world of Minecraft in VR. I hope I made your life just a little bit easier. And if I did, I think you owe me a like. So go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to HTC Vive because we're always putting out essential tutorials just like this one and you're not gonna wanna miss the next one.